Hi, everybody at home. We are recording curriculum night tonight so that anybody that couldn't join us gets a view of what we spoke about. So welcome to the Mustang Squad. I am Dr. Amanda Kilgore. I teach math. I'm Angie Donaldson. I'm doing science and social studies this year. James Huffman, ELA, which is CA, communication arts. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm going to start off. Um, this year in Communication Arts, um, we're going to focus on literary and informational text, so fiction and nonfiction, reading. Um, comprehension, obviously, is our huge passion, um, and it's ongoing all year. Um, also, we are doing something called the Daily Five. Um, this is a five-part system during the CA block where uh, when I am meeting and conferring with kids one-on-one, -on -one, they can be at any of these five areas, which are read to self, listen to someone read, work on writing, uh, word work, and writing. Work on writing. Did you have one? I mentioned that one. Um, I will be kicking these off every day with our mini lessons, and then that will lead the kids into daily five where during the daily five, they will be making their own choices of where they're at, and then about every 20 minutes, they'll be switching while I'm working with kids, um, which is the conferring part. Um, also, during that time, it will open my time frame up so that I can work with small groups to differentiate instruction for all level learners. Um, and writing, um, these are going to be our four main writing units. Um, this first quarter, we're really going to focus on constructive response writing. Um, Specifically, it's getting them ready for if they're asked a question based on text evidence, um, that they can use that evidence and then restate the question and make a well-rounded, responsive answer to it. Um, so it's building their answer and making it as thorough and in-depth as possible. And then we'll be working on opinion writing, narrative writing, and informative writing, focusing on nonfiction. And then ongoing throughout the year, um, as a part of CA, we're going to be learning about communicating effectively, working on conventions, that would be grammar and punctuation, uh, word relationships, and then spelling is ongoing. Yeah. Okay, so for math, we have started off with a review of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and we'll get to division starting next week. I say review because we're struggling. We're struggling with multiplication facts. So the best thing you could do is have kids on Moby Max. They're starting to get to the point where the facts are hindering them from the process. So basic facts are absolutely key for fifth grade. And the fact fluency, especially with simple multiplication, because our whole year when we get to fractions will be based on that. So we'll review everything, get fluent with multiplication up to three digit by three digit multiplication. And then we go into the order of operations. We do not hit variables in fifth grade. They'll hit that in sixth grade. But some of the kids that I'm differentiating for will probably get there. Um, then we'll talk about decimals and fractions. With both of those units, we have to be able to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And then we'll do some measurement volume and end our year with coordinate planes. Okay. Um, some of our, these are our science topics and these are our social studies topics. First one is we're working on the scientific method right now. And, and actually, that's going to go all year long with experiments that we do, talking about um, how to ask a question, how to write a specific hypothesis, that, and why are we experimenting is basically it. Um, then we'll touch on some space systems and properties of matter, um, energy and ecosystems, and then the Earth systems. <clears throat> and then for social studies, we're working right now with geography. In fact, they have a quiz tomorrow <laughs> over the continents and oceans. And our goal is 100% for everybody. Um, <laughs> they can do it. They've been practicing. Um, then we're going to get into the colonization of the United States 
and we'll touch on the American Revolution and then hit more United States government and then end the year with the Civil War. <clears throat> I'm excited about this because I haven't had a chance to teach this before. I remember learning it in school and it was just going over my head. I don't know about you guys, but social studies was one thing that I didn't pay attention to until I was in college. And so now I have the opportunity to teach it. I'm just excited to be able to share some stories with the kids about what goes along because they'll remember it a little bit better. History is a story. Okay, um, we end our day the 910 block and it's a Mustang time. And it is, a, it's like it says, a great opportunity for all the students to receive very tailored interventions or extensions. So if they're needing extra help and support with reading and math, then they will get that in small group or one-on-one -on -one throughout the building. Or if they need to be extended, they've got their targets, they're meeting their requirements and learning targets, then they're given more challenging work and more challenging practice and one-on-one -on -one attention so that they can continue to move farther up. So Mustang time is very, very important in our building and we take it very, very seriously. And this week we've been swooping with the kids. We've been listening to them read to see how many words that they're reading in a minute. And frankly, for fifth graders, I'm, I'm impressed with some of the numbers that I'm seeing. For this first fall um, swoop, it's 121 words a minute is what we're looking at for kids. So one good way for them to practice at home is for you to be listening to them in the car, <laughs> possibly in the kitchen when you're cooking dinner together, um, just giving them that time to practice. And another good thing that I like to do with kids is it's a, um, a minute read. Okay, you, they're re they have their library book or you have something, time them for a minute, and then have them count how many words they read. And then turn around and do it another minute and see if they can beat themselves. And usually, yeah. and, and what they're doing is just rereading. And they do get faster. <clears throat> rereading is so important. That's what builds fluency. It is. I'm going to stop the video. Parents at home, thank you for watching tonight. We are going to talk a little bit about teacher ease. So we will be sending um, an accompanying video so that you can see what we spoke about tonight.